The Rigel DHO800 series of scopes, like this one, is a very nice fit for small budgets. It can be hacked from 70 MHz to 250 MHz. That's not new. But what's new is that, thanks to a colleague of mine, Matthias, this scope can be extended and the function generator can be added to the scope. And in this video I will show you how you can add this plug yourself to the scope and enable the function generator. So let's quickly start with the scope. Maybe not everyone knows what this is. So it's an 800 series, in this case 804. It has four channels. Don't buy two channels. Please buy four channels. It has 70 MHz and the 12-bit ADC, which is quite good for the price. I bought this for 350 euros in Europe. So that's really inexpensive. Some folks on the internet already found out that this can be unlocked. The higher bandwidth models have the same hardware and this can be unlocked to 250 megahertz with it's really easy i'll link that below but it's really easy you can just do it it's like exchanging a file on this android which is running here so it's not that hard you can do that the warranty of course was void before i first turned it on and there's also a bigger series i guess the case is gray in this case it's the 900 series and the 900 series has a logic analyzer function which can be plugged in here and there's also the options for the S models the DHO924S for example that have the function generator inside here and for that function generator there's a BNC jack on the back which this scope obviously doesn't have because it's 800 series right but as you can see it has a BNC jack here it looks a bit different but clearly a BNC jack here and that's because a colleague of mine, Matthias, reverse engineered the function generator from the 900 series, even without owning an own function generator board. That's really incredible. He just used information that's on the internet, e.g. in the EV blog forum, and he created a small PCB. We will come to that in a minute. And that can be mounted inside here. You need, of course, to add some stuff on the board of the scope as well, but that's not too hard. And my scope now thinks it's a DHO924S. And with that board mounted, it can even use the function generator, just if I would own a 924S. So let's power it on. This is booting now. I will just add a BNC cable from the function generator to the first channel and let's have a look. So let's just switch it on here. Oh, there you have it. It's already running. But let's just set the memory depth to 50 meg. It's also included in the hack. And then we have here the nice menu for the function generator. And we now have a frequency of one kilohertz and an amplitude of 5 volt offset zero. So if we zoom out a bit, yes, there we have it. There's our sine wave. And now let's check some options here. So we can just scroll here and set the frequency and set it up, set it up, set it up. I'm sure it can handle some megahertz. So let's do two megahertz, okay. I just wanted to show you it's just as if I would have bought it with the function generator. So that's just working flawlessly. We can set the offset here like this. No worries. You can set the amplitude here with one. No problem. Yes. You hear the relays switching. Then we have also the function here. Let's set it to square and with one megahertz. Obviously it's not perfect but it nearly looks like a square. I think you can see that. And yes, so let's just play around a bit. Here we have a ramp like this. Then we have noise. I don't know what this is. We have DC. Okay, this is useful, right? So we have DC with 300, okay, 300 millivolts. So let's just set this to one volt. Okay, so is at one volt, perfect. And then we have arbitrary. So 
To be honest, I didn't check all the functions yet, but it looks like you can load your own function in, which is really great. Okay, so let's just go back to sign. As you can see, it's just working how it should. And we can switch it off, on and off here, and you can hear the relay clicking. I think you can hear that. Yes. Okay. And just I want to show you, here is also the logic analyzer. Yes, and it says, please enter logic analyzer probe. So that is not unlocked yet. Maybe we will do that in the future, but it's a bit more complicated, but maybe we will add the logic analyzer as well in the future. And now let's switch it off. Let's take it apart and take a look how to do this. And I will also talk about cost. The scope can be opened very easily. It's just four screws. And then it can be just lifted on the back cover. You need to drill a hole here. I didn't do this perfectly. And maybe I will add also the marking in the future here. But that's pretty much prepared as you can see on this last one. So as you can see, the board is here. And it is mounted with four screws. And that is done by Matthias. And I think it cost around $37 a JLC PCB. On the scope itself, you need to add those two op amps. Those can be ordered at LCSC. And also the two headers for the connection. And here you can see where the scope would usually have the BNC jack. But unfortunately, Matthias didn't find that very long BNC jack. So he just found another solution. And you saw that earlier that the board is just mounted here. And then the BNC jack is up here. And that's just a very standard BNC jack. And I optimized Matthias' solution and ordered also those soldering nuts on LCSC. Those that don't have the perfect height, but with some washers, this just did the trick. And as said, all of these components can be ordered at LCSC. For those of you who don't know, um, that's also, I think, the mother company of JLC PCB. And the, the rest, so this board, can be ordered at JLC PCB. Matthias has all the files required to do that on his GitHub page. So I am not an expert on this. I won't tell you how this works exactly. That you need to discuss with Matthias. I will put all the links in the notes and his page is on GitHub and the discussion should be on the EEV blog forum. I said all the links in the description, but here's the DAC here, two voltage regulators, and here th this stuff is for the amplification and attenuation. I think there's a lot more to tell about this hack, uh, about further optimizations, but I guess you need just to head over to the links I provided and ask your questions, discuss with Matthias, but there's one question that I will answer up front. No, you cannot buy this from Matthias for now. You need to build it yourself. So. Do it yourself, order this PCB, maybe with some of your friends that have the same scope, order the components, all of that is on the GitHub page and be happy. That being said, maybe if you want to see more hacks like this in the future, subscribe and like. And give all the credits to Matthias, head over to his GitHub page and leave him a star. I think he will be happy. And if you have questions, go to the EV blog forum. And now we have it open, I can show you another thing. So here are some parts missing, like here and also here, two op amps. And you can see here is a header missing and a hole on the other side. This is all for the logic analyzer and maybe we will do that also in the future and activate the logic analyzer as well. See you next time. Bye bye.